and welcome to the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium for the 2018 Rose City Tournament. It's the 51st Rose City Tournament here at the John Fitzgerald, and we've got a great semifinal matchup for you here tonight. The Santa Rosa Panthers at 4-1 on the year, taking on the Redwood Giants. Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Cox, along with Troy Stevenson, and both these teams off to a great start this year. Santa Rosa off to their best start in quite some time. And the question is, can they get over the hump and get to the championship of this Rose City Tournament? If they're going to get to the championship, they're going to play fast. Uh, Coach Madison Lott, he wants to push the ball. They've got the size and the speed. Uh, and so that's where we're going to look for, Dave. Nice win for Santa Rosa last night over San Marin. They redeemed an earlier loss to the Mustangs. And we see Redwood beat Maria Creo. So, both these teams are on the right side of the bracket. That's where you want to be. And Redwood got off to a great start because of Brandon Redu. Brandon Redu had a great start for them and really uh, is the catalyst to this team that can make them fly early in the game. In the first quarter of yesterday's Maria Creo game, he scored 15 of their 19 points, finishing at the basket, left hand, right hand, really balanced shooter. Uh, look to them to uh, feed him the ball and get going early. And for Santa Rosa, they've got a new guy, Grant Goodwin, who transferred here from Reading, and he's a great player, and he may be one of the reasons why they're 4-1 right now. Absolutely. Uh, Madison Lott gives him a lot of control to push the ball, and he's a heads-up, tough player, and so he'll have the ball a uh, majority of the time, but he's got a, a good personnel and a good group around him to take care of it and get to the basket. And there's Brandon Redu for the Giants. Great player for them. Six foot four, bit of a size advantage for the Redwood Giants, so we'll see if that comes to play here. So we'll take a break right here, be back with the starting lineups and the start of game one of two here live on YSN. 365.com. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Epicenter, where Sonoma County comes together. Experience Game on Arcade with over 100 games. Enjoy 16 lanes of upscale bowling at 710 Social. And check out Victory House, sports bar and restaurant with massive HD screens for awesome sports viewing. Burn off energy at Rock and Jump Trampoline Park or sign up for multi-sport leagues at Sports City. The Game on Garage hosts weekly esports tournaments for Fortnite, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and more. 3215 Coffee Lane in Santa Rosa or visit Epicenter.com where Sonoma County comes together. As they get ready to jump center, Santa Rosa in the black with orange and Redwood in the white with the red trim. And we are underway. The Redwood Giants control the tap. And they are on offense first tonight. As expected, trying to use that speed and really extending their defense. Santa Rosa now with their first possession. Nice drive to the basket by Gaudreau. Second chance opportunity, and Gaudreau has a shot blocked from behind. Gaudreau determined underneath, but great defense underneath by Jack Pearson for the Redwood Giants. And there's Radu. We talked about him in the open, and he gets off to a nice start scoring the first basket. And Redwood comes out in a little press after the make. Right down the lane and in for Santa Rosa. That's Dylan Weston. And Redwood head coach Steve Campagno does not like that. And he takes a quick timeout. Redwood, Redwood is missing about four guys due to injuries. Um, so this is a good opportunity for some other guys to get some playing time, get some confidence. But uh, like you said, Coach Campagna didn't like something that he saw out there in the, in the press. Too easy with that give and go for that layup and quick timeout. There's Madison Lott, the head coach for Santa Rosa, came over here from L.C. Allen. And on the other side, Steve Campagno 
the head coach for the Redwood Giants. Santa Rosa comes out a little bit of the press of their own with their speed. First call of the night, our referees tonight, Ryan Mathis and Jordan Ruiz. Two-two here in the early going. The nightcap will be Petaluma and Cardinal Newman. A nice block underneath for Santa Rosa's Allen Baker, who plays some nice defense underneath for the Panthers. Right here, you see Allen Baker coming over. Real athletic, strong senior, able to get his hand on the ball. Good job. Radu with a block at the other end. We've seen a lot of blocks so far. Both these teams coming out and playing some. Pretty darn good defense. Santa Rosa will stick to this man-to-man -man most of the night. And a foul going down the lane was Chance Farrell Martin, and he'll go to the free throw line. You see the starting lineup for Santa Rosa. And there's Redwoods starting lineup. Farrell Martin makes the first. In the first three to two. In the first 91 seconds of play, uh, uh, I'm thinking, who's the better conditioned team at the end in free throws? Just the way they're getting after it with the blocks and the aggressiveness. And he gets the vote. So a 4-2 lead now for Redwood. Great to be able to bring you live coverage of the Rose City Tournament here on YSN 365. Full court trap and travel. I'm looking at Coach Lott and he's kind of doing a shrug. I spoke to him early and he specifically said you want to attack the center of that press. Try to get the ball there uh, in that possession. None, none of the Santa Rosa guys were there. They look for that adjustment. with the ball now. Radu for three. Nice offensive rebound. And that one goes. Foul calls. Gerson came down with another rebound for Redwood. And now Gerson will go to the free throw line. Foul call goes against Dylan Leslie. His first three team fouls already against the Santa Rosa Panthers. That could be a factor here. As we were only two minutes in, a little less than two minutes in. A quick, smaller size Santa Rosa Panthers really need to collectively do a great job with their defensive box out so this bigger Redwood team can't get those offensive boards like we saw there from Gerson. Second one off the front rim. Goudreau with a nice rebound, his second. Hustle by Chance Farrell Martin, who's made a couple of nice plays here defensively for the Redwood Giants. Santa Rosa's going to have to solve that full court press, or they could be in trouble tonight. Got to get the ball off the floor. Trying to return the favor, stepping in front of that pass was Jalen Prince. Almost got there. It'll stay with Redwood. Great to have you with us tonight here. Troy Stevenson, who started Montgomery High School, Santa Rosa Junior College, and you probably have some fond memories of playing here at the John Fitzgerald. Always. Uh, I was a CYO St. Rose kid, so I had a lot of practices, a lot of games, and uh, always good to compete against the Newman Cardinals here. And that ball's thrown out, but it's going to stay with Santa Rosa. Hey, rematch up. Rematch up. Oh! Switch everything, switch everything. Great switch. Five thirty to go here, first quarter. Santa Rosa trying to get their offense going. Goudreau misses a short ranger, but the Panthers hustle after it. Nice job there by Jalen Prince to keep it alive for Santa Rosa. Nice pass underneath. Goudreau has the shot blocked, but he's fouled from behind by Gearson. His first, that's the first team foul against Redwood Ball as well. Great look from Goodwin to get it in there to Goudreau, draw the foul, get a couple of easy ones right here. And Goudreau. Goudreau. Getting to the rack 
Smith that time. Pasquale and Kona and Redwood exploiting their size advantage down low. See if Santa Rosa can get it going. No, Redu has the rebound. Common opponent, San Marin. Santa Rosa lost to San Marin, then beat him by 22 last night. Redwood beat San Marin by about 10 a week or so ago. And a timeout taken by Santa Rosa. Just very nice ball movement. And Santa Rosa having trouble getting down the court. You know, Redwood is doing a great job of just uh, uh, everyone touching it, moving it, with, and beating it with the pass. Uh, Santa Rosa scrambling, and Redwood's able to get a couple layups. Coach Slott wants to time out and make some adjustments of his own. So a 9-4 lead for Redwood here in the early going. Santa Rosa will have to try to beat the press again here. It's giving them a little bit of trouble so far tonight. Turnovers. There's that guy in the middle. Radu almost got there. Andre Gaudreau, and he loses the handle. Jake Matthews with some easy money for the Giants, and it's a seven point lead. Matthews uh, and Radu closing that trap right there after a half court to give a couple other defenders with that half court line and the side uh, side sideline. Couple chances there for the Panthers by Isidro Garcia. Neither one goes, and here come the Giants again. Back down the floor, Radu for three. Off back iron. Nice rebound by Goodwin. Talked about him in the open. He transferred here from Redding, and he's been a good boost for them. Very good athlete. Goudreau, offensive rebound, and finally gets one to go. He's had a couple of offensive boards, and now he finally gets a putback, and Santa Rosa is going to return the favor with a little full court pressure of their own. Good job by Goudreau getting down there in the paint, getting the offensive rebound. Needed a team needed the bucket, and he came through. Santa Rosa with a chance to close the gap a little bit here. Goudreau up top. And here's Goodwin. Panthers very patient. The shot clock is at 10. Fade away by Garcia. No good. Rebound coming down with it for the Giants that time was Pearson, his second rebound of the night. Radu decides to drive this time, and it's an offensive foul on Brandon Radu. Ryan Mappis, our referee, very defiantly making that call. You see uh, the ball getting pushed right down, and uh, Radu goes baseline, but uh, Edwards steps up, and coaches love it when a guy like that, a big man, gives up his body and gets the ball back. Good job. Tyler Edwards doing a great job taking the charge that time. Panthers turn it over. Offensive rebound for the Giants now. As coming down with that one was Dean Watson. Going to the line now, it is Scott Matthews. Twelve six now. The Giants with a six-point lead, and once again, Santa Rosa will try and bring it up against full court pressure. Kind of loose man-to-man -man full court pressure. Garcia makes a nice move, gets by. Pretty shot, but he couldn't get it. Another rebound for Pearson. Or excuse me, that was Dean Watson coming down with that one for the Redwood Giants. Redwood came in second last year in the MCAL Marin County Athletic League. Always a tough league. Nice no-look pass underneath. All bouncing around, and I believe that's going to stay with Redwood as he, uh, Matthews threw it backwards. Last year, Redwood was 22 and 8. 
on route to that second place finish in the MCAL. NCS champs back in 2010. Love their gym. It's really a cool gymnasium. Very old school. Right there we saw the, the layup by Matthews. Coach is going to the bench. Guys pressing, getting after it, extending the defense, using up a lot of energy. So it means, hey, everyone's got to be ready to play. And travel call. So Redwood has turned it over a couple times now. And Santa Rosa has had some opportunities to close this gap, Jory. We'll see if they can do it right here with this possession as we see Steve Campagna on the bench for the Redwood Giants. Santa Rosa shuffling some players in and out. Madison Lott hoping to keep, find the hot hand. So far, they haven't been able to find anybody who can give them a boost offensively. There's Goodwin. Good defense. Garcia down the lane. Nice pass. And the lay-in. Beautiful by Garcia to Russell Franklin, who just checked in. And Franklin immediately gets involved to make it a four-point game. Good job by Santa Rosa to kind of uh, run their continuity right there, get a little penetration, uh, and a nice layup by Franklin. Nice defense for Santa Rosa. Gaudreau has four rebounds and four points here in the early going. Try to close it in a little bit more, but his shot is way off the mark that time. And Max Ross coming down with the rebound. Pulling up from the outside, and that shot is good by Chance Farrell Martin three to make it 15 to eight with under a minute to go here in this first quarter. Big shot right there. And a foul call way out up top as Max Ross was trying to guard Garcia who made that last move with his penetration and he was trying to do the same thing again. Yeah, if those guys are going to be pressuring that far up, you just, uh, get down and take care of the ball and get to the basket, and good things are going to happen as the defense rotates over. And Ryan Mathis blowing the whistle underneath. Foul call is going to go against Max Ross again. So he's picked up two personals, and now we're even at four team fouls apiece. Good start to this one. Santa Rosa closed it to within four. The three made it seven. Goodwin trying to get out of there. They've got the much taller Scott Matthews guarding Goodwin. Now they switch. See if Goodwin can get involved in the offense. Panthers kick it back up top. Sidro Garcia looking for a little pick and roll. Can't get it to go. Here's Goodwin coming around the top. Goodwin pulls up from 15. Off the mark. And that's going to do it for the first quarter of play. So a nice start by Redwood. Their full court pressure giving Santa Rosa some problems. But the Panthers starting to settle in just a little bit as we complete one full quarter of play here in game one here in the Rose City semifinals. We'll take a break right here and be back with the start with quarter number two. Redwood up by seven after one. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Epicenter, where Sonoma County comes together. Experience Game on Arcade with over 100 games. Enjoy 16 lanes of upscale bowling at 710 Social. And check out Victory House Sports Bar and Restaurant with massive HD screens for awesome sports viewing. Burn off energy at Rock and Jump Trampoline Park or sign up for multi-sport leagues at Sports City. The Game on Garage hosts weekly esports tournaments for Fortnite, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and more. 3215 Coffee Lane in Santa Rosa or visit Epicenter.com where Sonoma County comes together. So here we go, ready to, for the start of quarter number two, a seven-point lead for the Redwood Giants. Checking in now for Santa Rosa is 
Emilio Campos. Great part of that Santa Rosa High School football team this year. They had a pretty good run. Nice drive to the basket, and that one is stuck. <laughs> Tyler Edwards got that one right in that exact spot. If you try to do that, you can spend all day yeah. trying to get it <laughs> stick there. It will never happen. Great to be able to bring you tournament action. This is the 51st Rose City Tournament here at the John Fitzgerald. There's been so many great tournament games over the years. And nice touch as the steal by Jalen Prince. And Prince doesn't get it. Santa Rosa having trouble shooting. They're getting some opportunities as Matthews gets the rebound. Now the Giants run in the floor. Here's Farrell Martin with a three again. He's had two of those and now has seven eight points, excuse me, here in this first half. They have dedicated this tournament here in 2018 to the memory of recently passed away Jason Frenchy, great football and basketball coach at Montgomery High School. And Montgomery and many, many year were in this uh, Rose City tournament. They kind of go back and forth. They kind of think they switch off every other year now. But um, very nice, even though Montgomery's not here this year, that they dedicated the tournament to coach Jason Frenchy. I noticed that in the, the program, and I think that was an awesome thing uh, for Carl Newman to do to honor uh, Coach Frenchie. Six forty-three to go. Second now, the lead has swelled to ten for Red Bulls. Santa Rosa try and get this thing a little closer now. The Panthers off to a great start here at 4-1 on the year. Their only loss to San Marin. They avenged that loss last night by knocking off the Mustangs by 22 points. Down the lane, Prince off back iron. Again, a great look. Just can't quite get it to drop. Prince is getting the ball in the paint, whether it's a steal. Here we go, a steal from There's Goodwin. There's a steal right now. by Goodwin. And Goodwin gets his first basket of the night. Grant Goodwin, newcomer here to the Sonoma County area, seems to be a guy who's going to have a big impact for this Santa Rosa Panther squad. Radu into the corner. Nice outside touch for the big guy, Pasquale Ancona, who hits that one from the left corner. No good. Way out ahead of the pack. And an easy lay-in for Redwood's Jake Matthews. And Coach Madison Lott has to get a timeout right here as it's now a 12-point lead. See if this is going to be a full or a 30. It's going to be a 30. I'm impressed by Redwood's... Uh point guard uh, Chance Farrell Martin who threw that pass right there on the dime to uh, uh, streaking Jake Matthews in a game like this where guys are pressing and extending the defense and really exerting a lot of energy in the, in the first half uh, Farrell uh, Martin is, is it looks like he's gonna walk in the park able to uh, get a couple of threes down he's got the legs we see the the baseline shot right there uh, for re another uh, for Redwoods That's huge if you can get that big guy to contribute from the outside. Very nicely done by the Redwood Giants. So out of the timeout now, we'll see if Santa Rosa can settle down just a little bit. If you're enjoying our live coverage here on YSN365.com. Nice job against the double team to move the ball. Prince off the mark, kept alive. Coming down with it, Gerson. Radu off the mark, Prince has the rebound. Jalen Prince rockets it up the floor, three on one. Good one, a little strong. Again, the Panthers with a great look at the basket and Radu burns them the other way with the dunk. This is a tennis match back and forth. Good job uh, Redwoods getting that ball up and Radu with the flush. 
Radu with the exclamation point, and now Goodwin goes down the lane. Four thirty to go. Redwood flexing their muscles with a 12-point lead. The Panthers trying to stop them. A little bit different look to basketball this year with the new divisions, the NBL Oak and Redwood and the Vine Valley League. Prince off the mark. The MCAL lost Justin Siena. They'll be in the Vine Valley. Goudreau with another nice rebound. He's had five rebounds so far tonight. And again, the Panthers have had good looks, Troy. They just can't get the ball to fall in the basket. There's Goodwin trying to change that. No good. Kept alive. Who did last touch off Goudreau? Goudreau is doing a good job fighting and getting those rebounds. Um, Santa Rosa, I'd, I'd like to see a run. If, if you don't have that fast break layup, maybe come out, work the ball around, run a little clock, let Redwood get tired. Get those legs burning and then really try to get a, don't get a good shot, get a great shot. Redwood in the half court game. Big guys trying to post up down low. Good patience by the Giants. Gerson gives it up to Ancona. Seeing an opening and taking it. Max Ross right down the lane, and he scores. And the Panthers get a basket at the other end as Goudreau scores. He has six. Good balance by Goudreau to kind of let the guys fly by, hit the step through, and get that layup. Oh, easy money right there as Jack Gearson goes down the lane beautifully. Redwood has handled the press very well. Santa Rosa has at times, but Redwood seems determined to try to keep the Panthers out of their rhythm, and it's worked. Yeah, overall, Redwood's getting some great, great shots this first half. Coach Capano's really got to be happy. Goodwin with an offensive rebound, and he gets the roll. Grant Goodwin now has six points. That one falls right in his lap, and he gets the put back. And we've got a timeout. And we'll take a quick break right here. 2.30 to go in the first half. 28-16, Redwood over Santa Rosa. We'll be right back. For over 80 years, George Peterson Insurance has been protecting our community helping businesses and individuals get the right coverage for their needs. We are proud to expand our presence to Marin County with the Minto and Wilkie and Allen, Bettini and Carter agencies located in San Rafael. We are excited for the opportunity to continue to grow our personal and employer resources and services in the North Bay. We are still committed to this promise to all Northern California. We've got your back. George Peterson Insurance. Very similar player. So a nice lead for Redwood, 2.30 to go. Santa Rosa will try and close this gap a little bit before they go into the locker room. We'll see if they can get it done here in this final 2.30 of the first half. Petaluma and Cardinal Lumen waiting in the wings. They'll play in the other semi-final matchup here in the 51st Rose City. They go for the lob to Redu back door, and he can't get the dunk right there. They had it set up beautifully, and it was open. The pass was just a little bit high. I like the idea from Coach Capano. Uh, get his, uh, get Redu uh, another dunk, get the, the crowd going, a little momentum going in this, into halftime right there. When you see uh, number uh, number 23, Scott Matthews with a rebound and put back. Another, another point, more points in the, the paint for Redwoods. Garcia tries to get down the lane. Nice move by Thompson, but he misses. And a foul as Excuse me, that was Tyler Edwards. And his first personal foul. That is the fifth team foul against the Panthers. Yeah. 
Redwood has it taken away. Goodwin got a hand in on that. Taps it away. We'll see if he can score at the other end. He does. Almost got the, got the foul as well, which would have been a huge boom for Santa Rosa if he could have pulled off the three-point play. But Goodwin gets the two. It's a 30-18 lead now for Redwood as the Giants go back to their half-court set. Down low, taken away by Goodwin again. Wow. Little momentum shift right there. Goodwin got a, a basket. Goudreau got the assist. Now they come up with the steal again. Let's see if they can capitalize. That one is good. That's a big three for Allen Baker. And here come the Panthers now, two within nine. See if the Panthers can get a stop now. Wide open three. They do get the stop, but it's an offensive board for Farrell Martin. Farrell Martin sticks the jumper. He has 10 points here in the first half and the lead back up to 11. Goudreau trying to drive baseline, can't do it. Nice pass to Garcia inside. Goudreau waiting back up at the top for the ball to get his way. Now it's Goodwin looking for a three behind the screen. Well off the mark, Redu with a long pass. But Goodwin does a nice job getting back. I like Goodwin on defense, he's very sneaky. He does a good job getting back. And uh, he makes things happen for this Panther team. Down the lane and a foul on Garcia. Pharrell Martin coming up a limping on that last play. We'll keep an eye on that to see if that affects him in the second half. But right here, you see just Goodwood being able to get the ball to Allen Baker. And Baker uh, sized up and, and getting the momentum going into the second half for the, the Panthers. So winding out this first half, we'll see if the Giants can add to their 11-point lead. Panthers making it tough. Nice drive to the basket. A little strong. And the rebound by Edwards at the buzzer. So Redwood leads by 11. Santa Rosa shown some promise, and I think if they had shot the ball a little bit better, their percentage is low. They had some good looks. This might be a two- or four-point game. Coach Lott's got to be telling that to his team. Hey, we get those same shots the second half. But they're going to go in, they're going to drop, and, and it's going to be our turn, and, and, and we're, we're going to have a chance to be successful. So 32 to 21 at the intermission. We'll take a break right here, be back with the highlights of the first half of play and the start of quarter number three in the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. I'm failing. No big deal. What about college? They said I'm not getting into college. Fighting doesn't work. We can't let him keep failing. Maybe he'll outgrow it. It's not just a phase. You saw his report card. Ignoring it doesn't work. Ma, I said I'd do better. Saying it and doing it are two different things. Punishment doesn't work. What does work is a Huntington Learning Center. By improving basic skills, we build motivation and confidence, and kids look forward to learning. Call 1-800-CAN-LEARN today. Your child can learn. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor, Izetta Data and Communications, specializing in data and voice cabling, delivering the highest quality of workmanship and materials. Izetta Data and Communications. Highlights presented by Wild California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties, with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in Wine Country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to Vice Stockholm Construction specializes in metal stud framing, drywall, taping, acoustical ceilings, doors, frames, and hardware. Stockholm Construction is a family-owned and operated business with an emphasis on teamwork. Establishing a reputation for completing their projects in a timely and professional manner while delivering a quality product. Stockham Construction.
do have a rebound. Coverage of the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium Rose City Classic is brought to you by Cardinals for Mr. Kirk, an alumni organization dedicated to preserving the traditions of Cardinal Newman High School. Back here at the half, teams are out of the locker room, Troy, and getting ready for the second half of play. And I imagine Santa Rosa talked a lot about trying to protect the ball, get the ball up the court against the press, and make those baskets. When you get the open look, you got to stick it. Yeah, Santa Rosa needs to uh, really do a better job with their defensive rebounding and then keep getting the shots. You know, they're getting shots in the paint. They're not dropping, and, and it's a confidence game. you got to have a short memory and, and, and move on and, and just you know see the ball go through the hoop. Here's the highlights of the first half. First, we're going to take a look at the Santa Rosa Panthers. Right there, you're seeing Goudreau get the ball down low. He's going to have a big role in them getting back in it. Uh, here you go, you seeing it back, uh, them moving around. Goodwin gets a nice little bucket inside. That's a great shot for that guard. Nether going to the basket. Anytime you can beat the defense down and get a, a basket, coaches like that. And then Baker from the skip pass from Goodwin knocks it down. Yesterday when I watched them, they're an emotional team. They get fired up. Let's see if they can. We saw a little bit of that at the end of the uh, first half. Let's see if they can get that going early. Here comes the Redwood Giants now. They got off to a very nice start. Their press was causing Santa Rosa some problems, and they did a nice job running the floor. There you see Ancona getting the layup. Uh, reduced start the break. Baseline shot from the big man. Uh, Max Ross driving to the basket. Everyone, uh, they got good size, and everyone can score. And Redu with a big smash. 
dunk right there. Always nice when you get the dunk. And another offensive putback. So they did a nice job in transition. Obviously, Troy, they got their money there. We'll take another break right here and be back with the start of the third quarter here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium in the Rose City Tournament. North Bay Elite AAU girls basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Meet Clark Lumber Company, locally owned and part of the community for over 100 years. With the right information and the right materials, Meet Clark is the right lumber yard. So shop where the contractors shop at Meet Clark Lumber. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. All right, we are ready for the third quarter to start now as the Redwood Giants hold an 11 point lead at the break. Dave Cox and Troy Stevenson here with you at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. And here comes Goudreau up top to Goodwin. And right away the Giants, who created four turnovers in the first half, come up with another one right here. Rebounding was fairly close for both teams, although Redwood got a lot of offensive rebounds, Troy, and that is not what you want as the head coach if you're the Santa Rosa Panthers, Madison Lott. Down low, they feed it. Nice muscle up to the basket, and it's good by Gearson, who had three points in the first half and now has five. Jalen Prince misses that one from the outside. Baseball pass, almost taken away, but the Giants end up coming down with it. Very close, Alan Baker got a hand on it, but couldn't corral it. Redwood throws it away, they had Six turnovers in the first half. First thing that jumped out at me when I looked at Redwood, uh, their roster is just, uh, you know, they're six feet and taller. Tallest guy, six seven, but got a lot of similar size. Right there, Redu comes up with the steal. 13 rebounds for Redwood, 11 rebounds for Santa Rosa in the first half. The Panthers had one three, Redwood had two. And we have our first foul call of the second half. And that's going to go against Allen Baker. First team foul for Santa Rosa. Looking forward to the nightcap here, Petaluma and Cardinal Newman. I haven't seen those teams play in a few years. Be nice to see them get together. It's only the third time that Petaluma's been in the Rose City Tournament in the 51 years. First one is good by Jack Gearson. Coach Capagno has got to be happy that with some of those guys out, uh, other people are off the bench or stepping up, and uh, they got a nice 14-point lead right now. Pearson does a nice job, gets them both. The lefty making it look easy from the free throw line. The lead is 15. Key stretch of the ball game right here for Santa Rosa. They have got to try to get something going before they fall too far behind. A nice stop by Radu, who had three rebounds in the first half. Here come the Giants. Giants definitely one of the favorites in the Marin County Athletic League this year. Nice shot from the outside by Farrell Martin. That's his third three of the ball game. He had 10 points in the first half to lead the Giants in scoring. I'm very impressed with Farrell Martin. His kind of just uh, his, his uh, savviness out there, his ability to shoot, just a real steady kind of even kill along the way. Redwood up by 18 right now. And there's a steal by Goodwin. He had a couple of real nice steals in the first half. Nice bounce pass, good throw, and again, they can't get it to go. Baker had an easy lay-in and just missed it. 
Doesn't get much easier than that look right there for the Panthers, and that has been their trouble tonight. Nice block from behind by Gaudreau. See if the Panthers can cash in in transition. Good one, fires the three, not good. Nice rebound by Baker who came down with that one with one hand and ended up getting the pass over to good one. Jalen Prince for three. Big basket right there and a quick timeout. And that is a full. So the Redwood Giants up by 15. Right here we see uh, Prince, who's one of their leading scorers, uh, get the ball from Goodwin, uh, dribbles to the left, nice three. Good timeout from Coach Lott. Uh, I got to imagine he's letting the guys know, hey, we, we got a chance, uh, we got time. We don't want to be frantic, but we want to take really good shots here on out. Take a look at the bracket one more time. We see Newman and Petaluma. They'll play at 8 o'clock tonight. The winner of that meets the winner of this at 5.30. We'll also have the third place game for you tomorrow night. That'll be at 4 o'clock. So join us a little earlier tomorrow night. San Marin beat Carrillo on the left side of the bracket. They'll be in the Constellation Championship. And I, I'm not sure who won the Rancho Windsor game. I was here, but I was getting ready for this one. So help Win me out, Troy. Win uh, Windsor moves on. <laughs> Windsor. Uh, beat Rancho. So there you go. Windsor and San Marin in the consolation final. We, we will not have that one for you a lot. Hoping to bring you more games like this live over the next few months. If we can get more support from the business community. It's great to be able to do it. Five minutes to go, third quarter. The Redwood Giants with the rock. Feeding it down low. Nice spin in the lane, left-handed, no good. And Kana fighting for it and gets it. He is a load right there. He got a couple offensive boards and the putback. Very good possession for Redwood right there just to work their offense, get the ball inside. Hey, we're in no rush. We're gonna get a, try to get down a low. basket inside. Uh, big man's able to, right here we're seeing a post up. Doesn't get this, but big man comes over. And Akana able to get it put back. Man, he was fighting hard down though, and the Panthers trying to stop him, but couldn't do it. 4.30 to go here in this first, third quarter, excuse me. Redwood now up by 17. Redu tries to drive the baseline. Met by the Panthers, triple team. Might have been a travel right there. Nice offensive rebound, Redu. Brandon Redu with his fifth rebound, and he now has eight points. I, I thought Pharrell Martin got fouled right here. Good job uh, by getting the ball in the paint, getting a shot, because good things happen, because Radu's right there, sticks with it. It's an and one. So Radu has a chance for a three-point play, which would make it a 20-point lead. Madison Lott, a little frustrated right now. As Redu does complete the old fashioned. And he has nine points. Great balance right now for the Redwood Giants in terms of their scoring. And there's a takeaway by Farrell Martin. Turnover starting them out now against Santa Rosa, but they take it back away. Garcia lays it in. Sidro Garcia picked it clean and laid it in for the Panthers. Great job by Garcia sticking with it, get the ball back, and getting the easy bucket for his team. Nice takeaway, good throw. Nice pass, Garcia got it. Sidro Garcia with two buckets in a row as the Panthers get two steals in a row and cash in at the other end. However, it's still a 16-point lead. A little sloppy with that pass, and Coach Campagna wants a timeout. He lets it go, he didn't get the call. He wanted a timeout, didn't get the call. Jalen Prince, no good. See if he gets it now, if Redwood hangs onto the ball, and he does want the timeout. 
44-28, Redwood, Santa Rosa with a couple of steals, and they pulled it within 16. We'll be back with more here from the Rose City Tournament with the Redwood Giants leading it big here in the semifinals. Game one. Epicenter, where Sonoma County comes together. Experience Game on Arcade with over 100 games. Enjoy 16 lanes of upscale bowling at 710 Social. And check out Victory House Sports Bar and Restaurant with massive HD screens for awesome sports viewing. Burn off energy at Rock and Jump Trampoline Park or sign up for multi-sport leagues at Sports City. The Game on Garage hosts weekly esports tournaments for Fortnite, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and more. 3215 Coffee Lane in Santa Rosa or visit Epicenter.com where Sonoma County comes together. For over 80 years, George Peterson Insurance has been protecting our community, helping businesses and individuals get the right coverage for their needs. We are proud to expand our presence to Marin County with the Minto and Wilkie and Allen, Bettini and Carter agencies located in San Rafael. We are excited for the opportunity to continue to grow our personal and employer resources and services in the North Bay. We are still committed to this promise to all Northern California. We've got your back. George Peterson Insurance. So Steve Campagna takes a timeout. Two timeouts left for both teams. As that pass goes long, whatever they talked about, set that up and they beat the press and get an easy land. So 46, 28 to lead up to 18 now. Garcia, no good. Nice rebound by Watson. Coach Capano calling out for motion. Wants his team to run their offense. They're in no rush. They get a, any any look they want. Uh, just run that clock down. Oh. Nice drive to the basket. Goudreau ends up with his sixth rebound of the night. Jalen Prince trying to beat the Giants down the floor. Steps back for a three. No good. Ross coming down with that rebound. And the Giants attacking at the other end. Kept alive, and Ross ends up with another rebound. He's got three on the night. Inside it goes. Tough to stop that as the big man posts up Scott Matthews. And Redwood now leads it by 20. Redwoods is a very good passing team. Great job on the offense rebound, swinging the ball around and getting the ball inside as we see Gaudreau get an easy one in the paint right there. Big basket right there by Gaudreau. Pulls them to within 18. 1.30 to go in the third. Nice drive to the basket, up and under. Gaudreau with another rebound. Nice ball game for Gaudreau. Can Santa Rosa find some scoring punch? Prince tries the three, and it's off the mark. And a sense a little bit of desperation right now for Santa Rosa. Troy, they're starting to shoot much earlier in the shot clock. Starting to try to hit from the outside. You try to close this gap by hitting some threes to see if they can find the range. Yeah, if, uh, if I'm out there and I've missed a couple three-pointers, I, I might try to shot fake, get the ball in the paint, hopefully draw a foul, stop the clock, and see the bas uh, get a couple easy free throws. So Redwood takes another timeout, so Steve Campagna is down to one, and we will take a break ourselves with the score 48-30. to 30. Redwood over Santa Rosa here on the YSN365.com. Game of the week. I'm failing. No big deal. What about college? They said I'm not getting into college. Fighting doesn't work. We can't let him keep failing. Maybe he'll outgrow it. It's not just a phase. You saw his report card. Ignoring it doesn't work. Ma, I said I'd do better. Saying it and doing it are two different things. Punishment doesn't work. What does work is a Huntington Learning Center. By improving basic skills, we build motivation and confidence, and kids look forward to learning. Call 1-800-CAN-LEARN today. Your child can learn. Appreciate our sponsors for tonight's game, Huntington Learning Center in Windsor. One of our great sponsors helping us bring this to you tonight along with Cardinals for Mr. Kirk, an alumni organization dedicated to preserving the traditions of Cardinal Newman High School. So 48 to 30, Redwood by 18.
Giants looking to get into the championship game. Guaranteed, if they get there, it'll be a Marin County versus Sonoma County championship because Newman and Petaluma play in semifinal number two. We'll have that for you at 8 o'clock tonight or right around that time, depending on how quickly this one ends. Santa Rosa losing the handle. Campos tried to turn and make something happen, but bounced the ball right off one of the Giants. Under a minute to go here in this third quarter. Swinging around, the Giants being patient on offense. Shot clocks at 15. They get it down low again to Matthews. Just really difficult to stop that, and he does such a great job positioning himself under the rack. He is doing a great job of getting on that block, being wide, and just turning and getting a nice little shot. Rebound goes to Watson, and that is going to do it for the third quarter and Redwood pulling away. They now lead it by 20. So a great job by the Redwood Giants here in this semifinal game. We'll take a break right here when the final eight minutes will be on the clock and we'll bring you the fourth quarter of semifinal number one here in the Rose City Tournament 2018. Highlights presented by Wild California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious, and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in Wine Country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to Vice And we're ready for the fourth quarter here as we start the final eight minutes with Redwood leading big. The Giants have done a little bit of everything in this one, and that's one of them right there. Get the ball in the paint and get offensive rebounds. Scott Matthews had six points in that third quarter. He's doing a great job, like we said, uh, working that left block, staying low, uh, getting his defender behind him, filling him out, getting in the paint, scoring with the right hand. Right now, he's able to get two free ones. Misses the first right there. Matthews with seven points so far tonight. And he gets one of two there. Eight points now for the big man. And it's a 21-point lead. Travel call against Santa Rosa. That is their 10th turnover tonight. One of the things that's plagued the Panthers' efforts so far. Trying to get some full court pressure now on the Giants. They've handled it pretty well, though early in the game, the Panthers did come up with a couple of steals. Nice pass and the lay-in by Matthews. Great feed. Matthews to Matthews right there. That was Jake Matthews. And at the other end, the Panthers hit. Yeah, that was a sweet pass by Matthews down low. Uh, Verdue didn't, uh, didn't stand around, was able to come down and get a quick three, try to chip away at it. But like we're seeing, Redwood's just too big down low. Another offensive rebound, going to the line for some easy ones again. Gidros had a nice game for Santa Rosa, but this was just good ball movement by the Giants. See Matthews driving, just a little pass over to the big man for another easy one, this side on the right side. And now Scott Matthews at the free throw line. Got one of two again, 11 points now for 
Scott Matthews. All but one of his points coming after the intermission. Goodwin, nice pass. Garcia can't finish. Goudreau has fought hard for rebounds all night long. He has eight boards. Goudreau trying to drive, ends up having to dish up top. And that one's taken away. No, almost, and Goudreau hangs onto it. Radu had it for a second. Goudreau right down the lane, ends up up top. Shot clock is under 10. Nice tap, no good. Goudreau will try it again, and he got it, and one. Prince got an offensive rebound, couldn't get it. Goudreau could. Goudreau right there, uh, kind of just the middle of everything. Does a little penetrate kick. Prince doesn't, doesn't get that finger roll off the backboard, but Goudreau's in the right spot for the putback. Goudreau cannot complete the three-point play. 19-point lead for Redwood. Matthews trying to dish it down low that time to Max Ross. Outside shot, good by Radu. That's a three. He has 11 points. Again, it's balanced for Redwood. A lot of different players getting into the act offensively. I think they're really going to do well in their elite play with the, the guys they got down low working the, the block. And Radu and Pharrell Martin outside being able to knock down those threes, kind of open things up. Nice move and flip up, no good. Long pass, a little bit too long that time by Dean Watson. He throws it away. Russell Franklin tried kind of a fancy move at the other end and couldn't get it. goes. No good. Last night, Piner won by 20 up in the Arcata tournament oh. as Radu almost got a chance for a dunk right there and didn't take it. And we have a timeout on the floor. Santa Rosa takes one right here. So a big lead for Redwood, 59-35. We will take a break right here with the Giants looking good to make it to the championship game here in the Rose City Tournament. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We're invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. Stockholm Construction specializes in metal stud framing, drywall, taping, acoustical ceilings, doors, frames, and hardware. Stockholm Construction is a family-owned and operated business with an emphasis on teamwork. Establishing a reputation for completing their projects in a timely and professional manner while delivering a quality product. Stockholm Construction. So the Panthers have one timeout left. Redwood also has just one timeout left as we head down for the final five minutes. So both of these coaches not shy about taking their timeouts, Troy. Absolutely, they're getting their money's worth. Uh. Steal for the Panthers as Caleb Loeb checks into the game. There's Emilio Campos trying the three, no good. He gets his own miss, however. Nice job. And there's the lay-in by Trevor Anderson, who just checked in. Anderson, a big part of the football team. Radu is fouled. Inbound and basket by Gerson. 
Is that a good ball game? Sixty-one thirty-seven Redwood. Looks like Coach Lott's uh, letting the guys on the bench get in right now, get some, uh, get a few minutes, get going, seeing if they can get some buckets. Redwood coming down with another rebound, and with three thirty to go, the Giants are in control of this one. And Pasquale and Kana will go to the free throw line. He's had a nice ball game. A lot of depth for this Redwood team. And I'm, I'm surprised, uh, after talking with Coach Campania earlier uh, before the game, that they've got about four guys that are con going to contribute. Um, They're going to be coming back from injuries or someone that, who's going to be eligible from a, who's a transfer. So I'm, I think uh, they've got a lot of – sky's the limit uh, if they keep this going uh, into league. And Connor getting some points from the free throw line to make it 62 to 37. And there's another steal. Reduz had a nice ball game, gets all the way to the rack and misses. Second chance, no good. It'll go the other way. Ball kept alive. And coming down with it, Jack Gearson. Redwood done a nice job with ball movement. And Trevor Anderson fouls Ancona from behind. It was probably a pretty good foul. It looked like Ancona was going to get an easy lane to the basket. So Anderson picks up his first. Redwood just. Continuing to find offensive firepower. Right here, you're just seeing uh, Redu getting the ball inside, or back, excuse me, back out to Redu and, and knocking down that three. And Kana made that one. And the second one is good as well. 64-37, Redwood just continues to pull away. And the final timeout of the night taken by the Redwood Giants here with 2.48 to go. We'll step aside for just a moment and be back with the conclusion of this one. Redwood up big here in the Rose City Tournament semifinal. Number one at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Epicenter, where Sonoma County comes together. Experience Game on Arcade with over 100 games. Enjoy 16 lanes of upscale bowling at 710 Social. And check out Victory House, sports bar and restaurant with massive HD screens for awesome sports viewing. Burn off energy at Rock and Jump Trampoline Park or sign up for multi-sport leagues at Sports City. The Game on Garage hosts weekly esports tournaments for Fortnite, Super Smash Brothers Melee, and more. 3215 Coffee Lane in Santa Rosa or visit Epicenter.com where Sonoma County comes together. So out of the timeout, Santa Rosa trying to get a basket. Nice shot that time by Mason Gandy, but it was off the mark. And here comes the Redwood Giants. Here we go. Santa Rosa trying to run the floor a little bit. Both teams using that final timeout to make some substitutions, get some new guys on the floor, see if they can find a spark here down the stretch. Great time for some guys on Santa Rosa's team that uh, are some reserves to get some quality minutes and, and get some confidence going into their season. 
I yeah, I think a lot of coaches, like, obviously you don't want to be behind by a lot, but early in the season, if you do have an opportunity to get a look at some other players, and so you guys, it might help you in the rotation down the stretch. And with league starting, I believe next week for a lot of these guys, uh, before um, uh, the actually holiday break, uh, getting that confidence helps out as we see uh, Prince hitting uh, the free throws right there. Trivian Prince getting a couple there. It's the way to do it, under two minutes to go. Cardinal Newman and Petaluma will be in semifinal number two. Nice finger roll that time for Gearson. He's had a good ball game. One of many Redwood Giants that have had good games tonight. The guys coming in for Santa Rosa got to know the scouting report. Gearson's a lefty, gets that ball in the wing, just drives right to the left to the basket. Got to know what his dominant hand is, make him do something different. I agree. Ball tapped. Giants hang on. Pounding it down low. Nice defense. Getting a hand in that time. Gandy going up against the much taller Matthews that time. And he does a nice job defensively. Very difficult to guard the big man down low. And Gandy almost got the basket at the other end as a reward. Redwood under a minute to go and a big lead. Santa Rosa, after the win last night, will not advance to the championship in this one, but we'll have them tomorrow night in the third place game, and that should be good as well. If you can finish a Rose City tournament 2-1, and one, that's a good weekend for you. Yeah, Rose City, the 51st year of this tournament. It's always been a, a staple in the basketball community around here, bringing out good talent year in and year out. Nice rebound by Trevor Anderson. 20 seconds to go, see if the Panthers can get over the hump at 40. Caleb Logue, left side to Anderson. Anderson bounces it down low. Good defense that time by Max Ross. Another one of the Redwood Giants has had a very good game, and that will do it for this one. So a nice win for the Redwood Giants. They advance to the championship game, and now the only question is, who will they play, Cardinal Newman or Petaluma? Whoever it is, Redwood is going to be a very formidable opponent. That's a good basketball team. Uh, Redwood came in here and uh, really were able to stick to the game plan. Uh, got great contributions from the from both Matthews, from Fadu, uh, excuse me, Redu and Farrell Martin. Uh, you know, if you're if you're Cardinal Newman or you're Petaluma, you took a lot of notes. Going, hey, how are we going to stop these guys? Yeah, no doubt about it. That is a final 66-39 Redwood over Santa Rosa. We will close down for a moment. And when we come back live, we'll have semifinal number two, Petaluma and Cardinal Newman coming up next here from the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium and the Rose City Tournament. For over 80 years, George Peterson Insurance has been protecting our community, helping businesses and individuals get the right coverage for their needs. We are proud to expand our presence to Marin County with the Minto and Wilkie and Allen Bettini and Carter agencies located in San Rafael. We are excited for the opportunity to continue to grow our personal and employer resources and services in the North Bay. We are still committed to this promise to all Northern California. We've got your back. George Peterson Insurance. I'm failing. No big deal. What about college? Face it, I'm not getting into college. Fighting doesn't work. We can't let him keep failing. Maybe he'll outgrow it. It's not just a phase. You saw his report card. Ignoring it doesn't work. Ma, I said I'd do better. Saying it and doing it are two different things. Punishment doesn't work. What does work is a Huntington Learning Center. By improving basic skills, we build motivation and confidence. And kids look forward to learning. Call 1-800-CAN-LEARN today. Your child can learn. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor, Izetta Data and Communications, specializing in data and voice cabling, delivering the highest quality of workmanship and materials. Izetta Data and Communications. Highlights presented by Wild California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, and Molesberries.